This is walnut, and walnut tends to be confused with ash, so let's find some ways of actually distinguishing it from ash. Now, the ash that we looked at previously had opposite buds and had black lateral and terminal buds, quite distinctive. Now, if you look at the walnut um, stem, uh, buds are alternate, quite haphazard actually, the way they're arranged, uh, and there's a complete absence of any black colouring with the lateral or um, terminal buds. At this time of year they're green, later in the season they'll go a bit brown actually, but they never have that black colour that uh, ash has. If you look at the ash, uh, the walnut leaves, uh, much broader, much coarser, much heavier than the ash leaves that we saw earlier. Colour of the stem is also fundamentally different. If you look at this walnut it's got this sort of relatively deep green colour to it, whereas the ash tends to have an olive grey green, almost a grey stem colour to it, quite different. Uh, this time of year, if you're lucky, if there's been enough sun, you'll also see some walnuts starting to develop and be available on the walnut, just a, one example here. In terms of timber qualities, uh, walnut is fundamentally different to ash and in fact fundamentally different to most other species. Walnut traditionally is used in small amounts, small volumes, to give colour and figure, what they call figure, the lovely beautiful wavy grain that you get with walnut, in very high end value applications. So you'll see walnut veneers, thin slices of walnut used on high quality furniture, in high quality dashboards in, in cars and vehicles, um, and famously you'll see walnut used in the best quality gun stocks as well. So if you want a piece of timber that has real depth and colour to it and beautifully swirling grains and figure, then walnut, if you can afford it, is the tree or timber of choice. In the UK, walnut has a few challenges. It likes deep, fertile soils and it tends to be not very frost tolerant. So if you're going to try and grow walnut commercially for timber rather than nut production, you need to have the right soils, you need to have the right location and you need to be confident about the ability to protect the, tr the tree from frost as it grows away.